Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, yeah. So today, uh, welcome to my RGB geometry uh video. So uh, I want to start to introduce the fine skin. Uh, previously, I think I have some video introduced the shift and the uh, uh, local ring space. But uh, and I also previous had some video about the fine skin, but I didn't uh, write details and I didn't uh, talk much about the uh, uh rigorous definition. So in this kind of in this series that I will try to uh, do my best and uh, try to uh, construct each step one by one and uh, share with you guys and if you find uh, any question that just uh just uh, leave a comment and you if you want to see more videos that you can check out my video list and uh, subscribe to my channel okay so i will uh spend like the maybe five or six videos define a, a fine skins and uh, define and uh, t tell you all the constructions and uh, provide all the details that i can okay so all of this may basically follow the standard textbook of Vakel or Harshon. So uh, 3.5 to 0 0.2 to 3.5. Okay, so uh, basically uh, the whole of this video is to construct uh, the series is to construct the fine skins. So basically uh, I will, uh, so basically the idea is that uh, previously that we have introduced a local ring space. So basically a ring space, basically we need X to be a topological space. And then for each of X, which is a uh, sheaf of rings uh, on uh, so each open set, there's a U, we need to associate it with a ring. So we uh, associate it with a ring, okay? So we need to construct, uh, so in the, so Grothen did come up with an idea that uh, somebody give you a ring, commutative ring with identity, then you are able to construct such a ring space and it has the beautiful properties. Uh, so, so uh, the idea is that uh, somebody gives you a ring A with the identity. Then uh, we have three steps. The first step is that we need to construct. This is basically follow the Vekel's the the Vekel's uh path. Basically, we we should first construct a set. Okay, and the the second is uh, from A. And the second is that we need to like the given a uh, give the topology. So this is the same as the uh you the usual uh advanced calculus so or any topology right so you start from set and you need to define your own topology and the third is that uh you need to construct a shift or ring okay so the first uh, in the video that uh, in this video that I will uh, quickly go through the two steps these two steps and uh, I will leave some example into the next videos. So uh, example will be the next video. And I also provide some video about detail that maybe in the future. And the uh, final did I will have the video which prove uh which prove this shift of ring is indeed uh this this guy is indeed a shift of ring. And uh, basically we will use we will prove this is basically a local ring. Okay, so uh so in this video is uh, there's no example, but I will quickly go through the, the construction. Okay, so construction is very simple. I think maybe everyone already knows. So uh, you can define a spectrum of A, let's call it X, which is definition is all the prime ideals of A. Where is the prime ideal? He's a prime ideal. Okay, so prime ideal is that, uh, let's just recall, recall if X, Y belongs to P, and then your x or uh, x belongs to p or y belongs to p. Okay, so this is the definition of prime deal. Okay, so now, uh, right, so this is our set, which is uh, may, uh, very, very simple. So now we need to, uh, and then we, we, we can, uh, we can define a so-called distinguished open set and we will construct a shift on it, but let's, let's wait a little bit. So now uh, let's consider the, so it is a set. So we need to uh, give the topology. Okay, so give the topology is also uh, interesting. Is that uh, if somebody give you S belong to a set, uh, it belongs to a subset of ring, and uh, you can define a V of Z. This is called vanishing set. Vanishing, vanishing set of S where uh, this vanishing set of S will give you all the prime ideals 
Uh, so so whenever I write p, I I already denote it to be prime deals p denotes x, such that p contains s. Okay, and the sum of people will write p denotes s, where uh, f of p equals zero, or f denotes s. So basically, this will view the the subset of the element of the ring as a function. But if you don't know what what this means, is it's okay. I just just forget about it. Okay, now you can define a. Okay, okay. Also define a v of f. So given any f belongs to a, you can define v of f to be just a v of the singular term of f. Okay, so just all the prime ideals which contains f, and then you can define a d of f, so called distinguished open set. So I will tell tell you that why this is called open set, distinguished open set defined to be the x minus uh v of f. Because basically this distinguished open set is important, is all the prime ideals which do not contain f. Okay. Okay, so now I want to give you the topology. So I define V of S is as an algebraic geometry for varieties. So V of S is closed. So basically, I say that however you give me a set S, then I just say, oh, V of S is closed. Okay, so the problem is that this is a topology. So we need to check it. Okay, so uh, Y, V of S, this will give you the, the topology. And uh, I think everyone knows this is called Zariski topology. Okay, so this is basically simple. Let me just quickly check it. So what is V of zero? V of zero is the all the prime ideals. Let's say all the prime ideals, uh, which, which contain zero, right? So every prime ideals should every ideal will contain zero, right? So V of zero is the whole space X. Uh, X is uh, all the prime ideal, and uh, what is V of one? V of one is all the prime ideal contains one. Then by definition, there should no there cannot be any ideal contains one. Otherwise, that ideal will be whole ring. So this will be empty. So this tells you that the whole space is closed and the, the empty set is closed. Okay, so this is already satisfied the two requirements of the topology. Okay, so now let's check the V of the, the S1 up to Sn, which is a product of ideal. Then by definition, this is all the prime ideals, right? Which P contained. S1, Sn. And obviously that uh, this is prime ideal. So if you're a product to be a prime ideal, that either one of it must be uh, must be the the either one element of S1 must be inside P, right? So easy e easy to check this is just the union. Okay. And also uh, if you do the union of the ideal, which basically the prime ideal, such that all the union of this ideal to be P. Uh, this is usually should be write down as the the ideal generated by the, so this should be write down as the ideal generated by SI. Okay, so, so some of them you will, well, some of the people will write as this. Okay, so in, in order for this P to contain everyone, this P need to contain, need, uh, need to contain every S, right? So obviously it's this. So let's say it's belongs to I, it's belongs to I. Okay, and uh, this is called, uh, obviously that uh, all of this uh, set will make this V of S to be the correct topology. And uh, V of S will be square root of S or radical of S. So let me just record. Radical of S will be the element Y, uh, Y is actually Y of N belongs to S. Okay. But there is a very beautiful result that square root of s is actually all the prime ideals p, where p belongs to v of s. Okay, so this one is very important. So amazing thing is that v of s is the oh sorry, v of s is the same as sorry, I'm stupid. V of s is the same as v of square root s, and the, the v and the v and the oh sorry, and the square root of s. Is the same as the intersection of P belongs to V of S and a P. Okay, so let me just 
Let me just write it clearly. Yeah, because usually this algebra geometry is difficult. So it's very difficult. So I want to provide as, as detailed as possible. So uh, V of S is the same as V of square root S. Uh, this proof is simple, right? Because if P contains the, uh, right, because P is a prime deal, right? So if, if your Xn belongs to P, then obviously that your X will belongs to P. Okay, so this is why V of S is the same as V of square root of S or radical of S. And uh, what I'm saying is that there is a beautiful formula for square root of S. It's basically all the prime deals, which uh, belongs to V of S. So you take all the, all the, all the prime deal, which contains S and do the intersection will give you the radicals. And the least proof that I will, uh, I will present another videos. So, okay, so this one is uh, uh see my other videos. Uh, I, I will prove the special case, basically it's a neo radicals, but the proof idea is the same. So see my other video. Okay. Okay, so now, uh, now let's, 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 what do we do? Okay, so now let's define, uh, let's define another object. Basically, it's, just, you, it's the correspondence to like, like the variety, right? So someone give you a set, you can construct. So previously, we someone give you the S, right? You can define V of S, which is a subset of the point, right? So you can view the spectrum, the, the prime deal is a point. So this guy is a subset of uh, the, the, the X, right? So we need to construct a reverse. If somebody give you some subset, then you should be able to construct the uh, uh, the side, the element, which is on S, which is a sub in a ring, okay? So obviously that uh, this is definition. So any Y below to be, be subset of the spectrum, we can define I of Y to be all the prime deals belongs to Y. Intersection of all the prime deals belongs to Y. So remember X is a spec A, okay? So obviously that we will have y if y is a subset of y prime, then i of y will be cover i of y prime. Right? This is a trivial. This is a trivial. And then also i of the union of yj, let's say union of yj, is the same as j belongs to j, i of yj. Okay, all I think all these two are trivial that you you and and you can check. Okay. Now the third one is the CBR as a variety is I of basically I think the variety this is basically Hilbert basis theorem. Okay, so or Hilbert not to ansatz so V of S, right? So V of S will give you the same as square root of S. Okay, so this is the basically the proof that uh, I that I I omit I will give you in the next video because this is just say this is just restatement that square root of S is the same as all the prime deals basically P. P belongs to V of S, right? If you translate this I of V S, basically it's the same language, so you prove this. Okay, so now uh, now this is the converse. This is the closure, okay. If you check it, you can see that the, this, all these four uh, relations is the same as the Harshon's results, or basically the standard result for, for the variety. Okay, so let me just give the proof of the of this one. Yeah, I think probably oh, this is the only one that, that we need to prove. Okay, so this is closure. Okay, so proof is very simple because uh, in order to prove this guy's a closure, we need to prove that uh, uh, one direction and another direction, right? So obviously that uh, V of I of Y is close by definition, by definition, and then you cover Y bar, right? Uh, sorry, it cover uh cover y. Sorry, contains y. Okay, it uh, contains y. Okay, so this will immediately immediately give you the v of i of y because close set contains y will contains its closure. This is definition, right? Okay.
Okay, the other, so we need to prove the other directions. Okay, so the other directions basically say that if Y builds, we, we want to prove that if any subset, any closed subsets cover Y, any closed subset cover Y, then that closed subset, that V of S will contain V of I of Y. Okay, so we want to prove that, uh, let's say right now, we want to prove that if I give you a V of S, which is a closed set cover, contains Y, we want to prove that uh, V of S will cover V of I of Y. Okay, if you prove this, then you are just saying that uh, this guy will be a subset of closure. It's the same as closure. Basically, from these, from these two, that you already arrived at these results. Okay, so this is the our goal. Oh, the proof is very simple. You just say that you are just saying the same thing, right? You just say if V is a subset of Y of S, then this is the same as S is a subset of Y of Y. Okay, so uh, hopefully you can see this because V of S is all the prime ideal which contains S, right? So if you do the intersection of Y, then every element of Y will contain S. Right? So this will contain S. So S is a subset of I of Y. Okay, then you take V, you take V, which will show that V of S is a sub, right? So you need to take the reverse. Okay, so uh, color V. So there is a bijection. Obviously, there will be a bijection between the closed subset of S. So this is the similar to variety, closed subset of X and the, to the radicals, radical ideals of A. Okay, this is the same as the, exactly the same as variety. So we start from V of S, which map to uh, I of V of S to be the square root of S. And then when you take the radical ideal of J, A, then you give you the V of J. Okay, basically, at the if y1 intersection y2 will map to i y1 intersection with i y2, sorry, y1 union y2. And if do all the, all the intersection, that will map to basically the same as the radical of the sum of the ideal. Okay, so these are the results that we just proved. I think these two and these two are basically follow the previous four results. Okay, so there is the bijection. Hmm. Okay, and uh, probably this is the end of this video. Uh, next thing that I next time I will say quickly is tell you the uh the distinguished open set, and I will say that why this is uh why this forms the basis. Then we can construct a then we can construct a a a, a shift. I shift on each discussion open set and we can glue them and become a fine skates.